Welcome to phase two. If you guys haven't seen the first video, make sure you go check that out. That's where I build this whole wooden platform for the rooftop tent. But today I'm just going to be waterproofing it. So I've got some resin, it's fiberglass resin, and I'm gonna mix it and paint it on top. just to try to make it waterproof. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna do one or two coats of this and then I'm gonna paint the whole thing as well. I'm gonna start with about six ounces of this. And that means 60 drops of hardener. All right, mix it on up. It smells terrible, so make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area, like the great outdoors. Got my paintbrush. I have a feeling this may take a lot more epoxy than I imagined. Alright, so that roughly six ounces covered maybe a third of it, maybe a quarter. So, gonna do more. This is the start of the second day of epoxying, but I need a popsicle stick, so I gotta eat this popsicle first. Got my popsicle stick, so now I'm ready to mix some more resin. Yesterday I had like a half of this left, and I used up the whole half resining the top, so I had to go buy another quart of resin. This is for the bottom and the sides, hopefully that'll cover everything. And then I also bought a bunch of paint. I'm gonna mix resin first and get the bottom all resined. Just finished up with the epoxy. I did all the sides and the bottom, and I had already done the top. So now, just need to wait for that to dry. Yeah, I think it's looking really nice. That'll give it a nice waterproof coating. So the next step will be to paint it all white. With the epoxy, I just did the outside. If you do the inside, the inside of the tent can smell weird and stuff like that. Once the epoxy dries, I'm gonna paint the entire thing. I'm just gonna paint it white. I feel like that's pretty simple. It'll probably help it not get too hot in there also. Hello people, today is painting day. I have a cute little helper today. Da 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 da. It's me! <laughs> She's gonna help with the painting, which is super nice. I got a gallon of Season Flex rainproof paint for exterior use. Quite possibly my favorite thing about painting is opening paint cans. Morning everyone, day two of painting. Yesterday we finished the whole top. We did two coats all the way around. Ta-da! I think we did a good job. Yeah, if we can get the same thing done today on the bottom, we'll be done with painting today. Woohoo! Hey Josh, who's a faster painter, me or you? You, she's way faster. But I'm, I'm good. She's good, quick and fast. Quick and, no, quick and accurate. Quick, quick and, and fast. fast are the same thing. I'm quick and fast. The paint is ready. The Melissa is ready. The Josh is ready. Da, 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 Raise your sword. This is the final countdown. Final 
job. It's a few hours later. We just flipped it. I really have to sand the epoxy side because otherwise the paint won't stick to that. To dry now. So the next step is to put on hinges and the shocks and then the only thing remaining will be to sew the tent <laughs> which is a big step. Should we show them our painting hands? Eee! Hers are completely clean <laughs> and mine look like that. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today is a moment of truth. Today is the day that we put on hinges, the clasps, and the gas struts hopefully. It's pretty exciting. We've got, as you can see back here, Rooftop tent is pretty much set up. Try to put the hinges on and see how it opens. Once we do that, then I'll put the gas struts on. The gas struts are going to be a little bit of guesstimating, just trying to figure out how far uh, forward or back the two pieces should be. I'll show you guys all the materials I have right now. Got some drills, obviously, but specifically for this project, these are my clasps. I just got them off Amazon. Those should be super easy to put on. These are the hinges. I got three of these. They're door hinges, but I think it'll work well for this application too. Brackets. They're 10 millimeter for these gas struts, and the struts also have a 10 millimeter ball on the end. open. This is one of the shocks. So the shock is going to go about here, but now this is kind of the tricky part, is figuring out where the shock has to go, because it needs to be connected when it's fully extended like this, but then as it comes down, it needs to be fully compressed. Wherever I connect here, has to drop down to be 19 inches away from the base point. So you have to kind of find the right angle. I don't know if this is valid. If I figure out where I place it here, then I can measure in from there, and that's the same distance from here, and then this top piece has to be 19 and a half inches from the corresponding location on the top. After a little bit of trial and error, I think I figured it out. For me, it's 33 inches from the end. It's gonna be about here. Boom, boom. got one arm on so I'm gonna try to close it and see if everything kind of works and then I'll put the other arm on the same spot. Strut 2. Got both struts on as you can see there. I'm gonna show you guys how it closes now hopefully smoothly. a little bit of force to keep it closed. Woo. So that actually opens and closes really well I think. One thing I'm gonna need to do, put like a little handle coming off the top so that you can grip it easier because it's pretty tall and especially if you're on a ladder you won't be able to reach that. Pretty pumped about that. Putting on the latches. So it is the next day, back outside. I ended up making some changes that I wanted to show you guys. Before, I had the struts going this way, low part here, up to the top here, but it was putting a bunch of force on this top piece, pushing it that way when it was closed. It started to like break apart this joint right here. I first fixed that joint by putting in some more screws and putting in more wood glue. I didn't think that was gonna work long-term because it was so much force. Each of these is 80 pounds. 
So there's 160 pounds of force pushing that way. So I flipped it. So now when it's closed, it's pushing the top against the hinges and actually like compressing the joint. I think that's a lot better. And it still opens and closes fine. The other thing that I changed is I put these clasps on the back because they work way better on the back. And also it closes without even needing the latches. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. All done with all of that nonsense. So this is the end of phase two. Phase three will be sewing the tent. That's gonna be the hardest phase, I think. But basically all that we have left to do is sew the tent, put the mattress in, and put it on the car. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it's been fun following along. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You guys are great, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to Clayton. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, so which is <laughs> being more enthusiastic. Sorry. And he's like, last to all, for, all for one and one for all. All of this together. First coat.